my name is Ember. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I play The Sims 4. It's been a little while since I've done a speed build on this channel, but I recently built an all glass house in The Sims 4 and I thought it would be very nice to show as a speed build because there's some really great views as I'm building this. And yeah, it was just a really fun idea to do. So I built this gla all glass house over on Twitch which is actually where I got the idea because a couple streams ago I was like building something else and some people in chat asked, you know, can you build like glass walls and glass floors and stuff like that. And I was like, well, you can't exactly build glass walls, but you could put windows in like covering all of the walls and essentially make them glass. And there is a glass pane for like the floor that comes with Island Living. So yeah, I tried to make pretty much all of this house uh, the walls and all the floors made of glass. A lot of the furniture is also made of glass. And of course, I put it out on the ocean in Sulani so that you'd have those really beautiful views. Sulani is a, such a beautiful world. And yeah, it's just really nice to look at. I built this house in kind of a weird order. I started with this office just because it's like what I had an idea for first. I was thinking to have like a diagonal window pane like looking out. Um, from the, like, with a desk so that they could, like, look out at the beautiful views while they worked. So this is, like, the one area of the house where the flooring is not completely glass because there was really no way to get these big glass, um, square tiles to fit in, like, a diagonal area. But it ended up looking pretty cool with just a little triangle of flooring there. And, you know, from that office they'll have a beautiful view of the ocean of Sulani. Uh, there was one issue that I ran into, which is that rugs don't really work on top of the glass tiles. Also placing some of the furniture didn't work very well. It was hard to get to slot so I did end up moving some of the stuff over to the beach to like slot it correctly and later on basically what I did I just deleted all of the glass tiles while I was building everything else so that I wouldn't have all those glitchy issues to deal with and then I went back and added the glass tiles in at the end. But yeah there's a few uh there's a few little issues if you try to build the glass tiles. I also at first I'd wanted to like make them bigger but the problem is then you could see the um then you could see like the stilts that the house is raised up on through the glass tiles and it just did not look very good I originally I kind of wanted to put like fish underneath the glass because I thought it would be really cool if it was like you know an aquarium like the ocean underneath your feet and stuff but it didn't really work. And then also like when I added in the foundation, it messed up all the glass tiles. So I had to go and replace them all because for some reason it was showing dirt, which doesn't make sense because there was water underneath them. But basically if you want to do something like this with lots of glass tiles, I would suggest just adding them in at the end. You will want to like test and make sure it's going to, your room is the right size so it'll fit. But yeah, I would just add them in at the end because it's really hard to build with all the glass already on the floor. Things won't slot right. Oh, and like I was saying, rugs don't really work on them. Like for some reason, rugs are like translucent over glass tiles, which doesn't make any sense. But okay, I mean, I thought it could be interesting to have the rugs still, even if they were a little translucent. But there's like weird ridges, like it changes where the end of the tile, the glass tile is, and it's just... It doesn't look very good. Rugs are kind of just a no-go in this house, unfortunately, because I think they could have been really nice on top of all the glass, like, just to break it up a little bit. But yeah, Sulani is such a beautiful world. It's like, it has to be one of the most beautiful <laughs> ones in The Sims 4. Uh, this is actually the last expansion pack I bought, so I haven't done much in Sulani yet until now. Now I'm just like using it for everything all the time because it's a really cool world. I feel like whenever people are ranking the packs, they usually put Sulani at like the bottom of their tier list. Or I guess it's not Sulani, I guess it's Island Living that they're putting at the bottom. And I understand, like, there's not a ton you can do when you're not in Sulani with this pack. It didn't bring a ton of gameplay, and that is frustrating. I feel that way about, like, Discover University as well. I mean, there's the gameplay of going to university, but we're not going to university. You're not going to use most of those things. But I do, th I don't know, I like Island Living. Uh, I do, I do think that it could definitely use more gameplay and stuff, and, like, it would be cool if mermaids could do more. But it is a it's a very nice world. If you want a nice world, I would get Sulani. <laughs> I would well, I would get Island Living. I guess yeah, that's the problem is it's like 
the world is the nice part, which is great, but you're not going to always play in the world. I also, of course, put glass tiles across the entire roof because, like I said, it's an all-glass house. I mean, you know, there's a few exceptions, but just ignore those. I did decide to put a pool on top of the house <laughs> because I was like, you know, ba basically one of the rooms in the house is like a pool and then you can go up on top to get in the pool. I don't know. I just thought it would go really well with like the glass house or in the ocean you know, it'd just be fun. And then, they, like, I put a little dance, I put a little dance floor up on the top as well and, like, a DJ booth so they could go and have some parties up there. Don't worry, it's fenced in, so they'll be safe. Um, <laughs> and just gave them a nice little outdoor area as well. You can see I tried uh, placing the, like, really big squares of glass on the ground, but they just didn't work very well with the stilts. I kind of mostly, I mostly built the shell first and like the exterior and then in another stream I went back and decorated the interior because I did kind of spend a long time on this build in all, I think it was like six hours, um, two streams for three hours each. I am thinking about uploading the VODs from my Twitch channel onto YouTube somewhere. I'll have to make a channel for that to be honest because I don't think I want to like just put them here, but yeah, I'll make sure to tell y'all when I actually make that channel so that if you want to go catch up with any of the VODs, um, you can watch them. I mean, you can also watch them on my Twitch. Twitch does save the videos after I stream, so you can always do it there. But I know a lot of people prefer to watch videos on YouTube. <laughs> uh, I, I do myself, personally. I don't probably don't watch VODs on Twitch much. Um, but if you do want to come and join us for any streams, I've been streaming on Sundays and Wednesdays. It's also going to be summer soon and I'll like basically have less work to do probably. <laughs> so I might end up streaming on more days, but I've been doing Sundays and Wednesdays. I still need to like find exactly what time I want to do them. But if you want to be notified when I'm streaming, you can go follow my Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv slash Simberling. So it's like here where it's Simber, but just add L-I-N-G on the end because Simber was taken on Twitch. So <laughs> I probably could have picked a slightly more, you know, unique name, but I think I like it. I like Simber. I think it's good. It's simple, but that's okay. But yeah, so on Twitch, I'm Simberling. And you'll see like when I was trying to place a lot of the furniture, I had to move the tiles around so that and like take them off while I put the furniture down and then I put the glass tiles back down later. Like I said, I haven't done many speed builds recently. Um, I'm trying, like, I don't know. I like doing this. I like building. I do like building, but it takes a long time to do something as detailed as this. So like a speed build makes sense, right? But I don't know, like, I feel like speed builds are becoming less popular, like less people are wanting to watch them, myself included. I kind of have thought about trying to do something like stop motion builds, because I do like those. That I, I've seen a few videos like that, and I really like those. But I also like, that's a completely different way <laughs> of making a video. Um, you, I, From what I've heard, it's like people will build the whole house, and then afterwards they'll delete things one at a time and then like redo it or something and take a picture of each one which honestly like it would be easy building if I didn't have to record the whole building process especially because I tend to like turn the camera around a ton and it's not very fun to watch. <laughs> I'm not good at like remembering that people are watching and I need to not like just spin the camera in circles because it especially when it's sped up like this this is sped up like 500 percent uh, it would probably make you pretty dizzy if I kept all the parts in where I'm spinning the camera around because I like to check from like every angle and make make sure that everything looks okay from all sides. But again, it's not very good for like the video. So I don't know. I was thinking like stop motion could be cool just because I wouldn't have to worry about that while I'm building and stuff. I could just go back and make the video afterwards. But at the same time, it would be a lot of work even if it's like a different kind of work. So yeah, I don't know, like, feel free to leave comments down below about, like, what type, you know, how you like to watch build videos, if you like speed build, if you like, like, stop motion or something else. Like, I know for my build challenge videos, I definitely tend to do, like, you know, I just record the whole time I'm building and then I, like, make comments and stuff and I cut a lot of stuff out, which does mean that I then have to cut out like the times where I'm spending 10 minutes talking about curtains because no one wants to see that. I tend to enjoy those videos a lot where like someone is taking me through the building process and like talking as they build and stuff. 
but it does make it harder to do like really big projects like this because that is a long time to be like narrating everything as you build. I mean, I guess I could do that with streams, like cut down a stream into that, but it feels like it would just be way too long of a video. I don't know. It's nice to be able to speed things up <laughs> and not have to like show every single step. Cause like I said, this took like six hours to build and then the video is gonna be like 20 minutes. You know, that's uh pretty sped up. <laughs> The other thing about speed builds is I have to like figure out like stuff to say during the whole time and it's probably not going to be exactly matched up to the video is the problem because I'm going to have to like cut things. I cannot talk for just like 20 minutes without, you know, messing up saying something or like needing to take a break to breathe or like cough or something. <laughs> and so it's going to like not, the voiceover is not going to match up exactly to the video necessarily because I'm going to have to edit stuff out. Um, and I'd love to like narrate every single thing, but it also goes by really quick. So yeah, if you ever like, what, what are they talking about? Like, where is this in the video? Um, it might not, it might not be matched up exactly, but <laughs> with that, with that said, um, I did try to like, I use some, some of the fish tanks and like fill, stock them with fish and then size them down and put them down like in the water around my house so we could have some fish. I also put down like some ducks and swans and stuff. Although at first when I put them down, they were underwater. <laughs> so I had to like raise them up so they wouldn't be underwater. I was like, oops. Um, I don't know that these like ducks and swans would really be in like the ocean like this, but there wasn't, honestly, there weren't a lot of ocean fish. Like the new stuff we got to make ponds um, obviously isn't very good for oceans. Like surprise, surprise. But <laughs> I, I made do with what I had. Um, I do think this little office ended up really cute. It's very, this is a very fancy house. I used a lot of gold and of course everything's glass. It sort of just came together that way. I figured like if you have an all glass beach house, you're probably kind of rich and you just like spend money on stuff that you don't need. Um, like honestly, an all glass house kind of sounds like a nightmare to live in because one, no privacy. Two, like no protection from the sun. Like you're gonna be roasting in this house. You know, like even the roof is glass. Like you're gonna be so hot. I mean, I guess like water is a pretty good insulator of heat. So maybe being on the water would be a little better, but you're like, you're gonna be sunburned. That's for sure. So yeah, it's not, I didn't make this house because I thought it would be like a practical thing to live in. I just thought it would be really fun to build. And honestly it was, and it looks really cool. <laughs> Even if it was hard to figure out like what furniture to put where, there's some really nice views from this house. And just some of the like pieces I was able to use are stuff I don't really use all that often. Like a lot of like glass furniture and stuff. And I just made it very fancy, like kind of with the idea that, you know, this is like a vacation house or like a second home of some very rich people or like they just have a lot of extravagance. Um, I made the kitchen with sort of the idea that like they probably have people they hire to like cook food and stuff. There's like a bar in the fancy dining room with this like nice chandelier. Um, of course they have a pool in the middle of the house. <laughs> it was kind of hard to make the bathrooms private again because like all the walls were glass. Basically what I ended up doing was I made some of the bathroom walls uh, mirrors because like mirrors are still glass, right? Like even if you can't see through them, like they're made of glass and it still looks like it's glass, um, but it does give a little bit more privacy in the bathrooms. And also like it makes sense to have mirrors in bathrooms. So that's what I ended up doing there. But there's definitely, um, you're still lacking a little bit in privacy <laughs> for sure in these bathrooms, but I, I don't think the Sims will mind that much. I also made this like bar area in the dining room really fancy and put like, yeah, I don't know. It just, I, I liked how that came together. I ended up finding like at first when I looked for coral and stuff, I couldn't find any. So I just used, you know, I use like rocks. I used some flowers and tried to make it look like coral and I used the like stuff from the size down fish tanks, but then I finally did find some actual coral in the Island Living debug. So I did go back and add that in. Although it was very big, I had to size it down a lot. <laughs> I also added some cute little starfish just over on the side. It looks so cute. I love it. <laughs> I, I lo just love adding all that color and like all that cool stuff in there. Landscaping can take forever, but like when it looks good, it looks really good, you know? And when it looks bad, it's, it's not the best, but like just like adding all those little colorful details. And I guess it's like water landscaping in this case, which is kind of fun. <laughs> just all the like rocks and coral and fish and stuff. 
like I said, for this kitchen, I kind of like had, you know, it's very, it's a very big kitchen. I kind of had the idea that probably there'd be people like working in here to prepare food and stuff. It's not so much like a family kitchen. Also, I only, I ended up only putting one bedroom in here with just like a big fancy bed. So, you know, it's not like a ton of people could live here. <laughs> Cause I just honestly like, it just kind of worked out that way. I was like, we don't need to add any more on. We can just have their outdoor space. Um, so I don't really know, like, yeah, I don't know where people would sleep here. I guess just one person sleeps here and they could, like, have a party here. Or I guess, like, you know, maybe two people in, like, the big giant bed. But, like, I, I mean, I guess you could have more than two people sleeping in the bed. But, you know, you're not gonna, like, there's still a limit. There's still a limit there. <laughs> yeah, and so I ended up in the kitchen. I put, like, two sinks, two stoves, two fridges because <laughs> I just I needed to fill up the space and I was like well that's that works I guess and then I put like a really big island in the middle so I mean, it'd be nice to cook in at the very least and then unfortunately like some of the rooms didn't really fit the glass tiles perfectly so I had to like overlap them and try to make some sort of pattern um I mean I guess I could have tried to make it where every room was like exactly perfect dimensions but it just didn't work out that way you know but I knew that would be kind of a limiting factor because you got to fit all the floor tiles in if you want it to be glass I do wish that there was like some other I don't know I wish we had some other options for like a glass floor or like ceiling like instead of just this one tile of like a floor panel thing it is cool that we have it though but it was like kind of hard to figure out in some of the rooms how to fit in all of the glass panels. Uh, the windows weren't as hard. I was able to get most of the rooms to where like glass windows would cover the whole wall, especially because there were different um, sizes of glass windows as well. So that definitely helped. I tried to put, you know, a few activities in here. I put like the globe bar, I put a nice fancy piano, uh, TV, and like a karaoke set. So, you know, there's there's some nice things to do. I also used some Island Living furniture and I tried to like, I need to fill up space. So I was like, what if we just put like a nice little art piece or whatever? <laughs> so I did that. Uh, there is kind of a lot of empty space in here, but like it's a glass house. Like just, you know, what else am I going to put? I think that not having too much is like probably better than trying to like completely clutter up everything. It was also interesting because I didn't use a lot of wall decor at all because, you know, I didn't want to block the glass uh, walls and stuff. So that's interesting because I do tend to use like a lot of wall decor, but in this case it was very minimal, just a few little decorations and stuff because um, I didn't want to block the, the glass views that much, which was also kind of a problem in the bedroom because like I wanted to have a really nice view from the bed, but then I was like, well, I have to put some furniture in here, but I didn't want to like block from the bed out to the ocean you know I wanted them to be able to see that was kind of like a big thing about this build is making sure that there were like really nice views from all the different rooms and stuff so yeah I had to like figure out how to put the furniture so that the furniture wouldn't block any of the views so that they could have like a nice I just, I'm saying views so many times so they could like look out at the ocean and at Sulani and stuff uh, I did give a pretty fancy little bathroom. There's like one sort of guest bathroom and then a longer bathroom off of the main bedroom. And it also has like a little closet area sort of in there just because the shape that I ended up with was like a really weird shape and very long. So it's like, okay, we'll have one part that's like a walk-in closet and then we'll have like a longer bathroom. But I think it turned out pretty nice. You know, it's very gold, very fancy. And of course the windows from the bathroom do sort of go out onto the sitting area. I put up some little like plant wall things to block a little bit, but obviously it does not block completely. So um, your guests, if they're outside partying, will have a little bit of a view of you um, taking a bath or going to the bathroom, <laughs> like, using the toilet. But, you know, it's all, it's fine. The whole house is glass. Like, what were you expecting for privacy, you know? There's also, like, from all, pretty much all of the rooms, you can see into the pool. And I didn't have any sims swim in the pool while I was building. But honestly, I can just imagine that's going to be really weird to be, like, playing and then see, <laughs> like, sims swimming around in the pool. See their, their feet kicking around. Like, oh my gosh. I'm honestly kind of curious to see like what that would look like. I think it would be kind of weird and creepy to be honest, but you know, um, yeah, I made a very fancy bedroom. It's mostly like black and gold and we have this like very fancy, 
uh, bed. I kept trying to like add more stuff in because it just felt like I don't have anything in here. But then I was like, you know, I don't need that much in here. Like, again, this is like a vacation house. It doesn't need to look lived in. <laughs> it doesn't need to be practical. It's all glass. Like, it's fine. <laughs> I think it's good. There's enough stuff so it doesn't seem like completely empty without it also being like crowded. I used a lot of Get Famous and let's see, I used uh, Vintage Glamour stuff a lot in here as well. Um, I guess I, I did use a good bit of Island Living too just because, you know, we we're in Sulani and like I wanted to use some of the decor that would sort of match with that. There's kind of a mix, a mix match of styles here. But yeah, I think this all glass house actually turned out really cute. It was very fun to build. Um, like I mentioned, if you want to, you know, be present next time when I'm building this stuff, if you want to give your comments and suggestions and stuff, don't forget to follow me on Twitch so that you can see when I go live. I build sometimes, um, I do gameplay as well, sometimes I create Sims, all sorts of things. So far I've only streamed The Sims 4, but I might branch out and play something else as well. Um, I'm hoping to start soon basically the 100 baby challenge but make it trans. <laughs> That's my plan to um, basically like have a trans sim being the one having 100 babies and stuff like that and I think it'll be fun and also we could have like the other parent um, a lot of, like they could be trans as well of you know the 100 babies. Probably not all 100 babies but for some of them at least because it just seems like a fun challenge to do. I like gameplay challenges and I don't I think it might be a little too long to make into like YouTube videos but I could definitely like do summary YouTube videos or something. Just not do like a video for every single part of the 100 baby challenge because I think that would take forever. I know little Simsy did it but it took her like years and years and years. So yeah you can join me on Twitch for all of those things. If you like this video make sure to give it a like. If you want to see more builds I've done I do have quite a few including lots of build challenges so feel free to check out my building playlists for that or any of my other videos. You can subscribe so you can catch all my new videos and thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.